Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Against the Hive campaign. Or I'm trying to beat the game. Ah, beat is too much. Just survive as long as possible in an onslaught of chrysalids. Uh, we are going into a comparably easy mission. Got some high level characters with us, but also some more low level newer characters. Um, Quake is joining us, a Corporal Portrait Bastard is going to join us, BDM is uh, reappearing, Sane and Sonar are coming, so it's actually a nice little mixed team. I got some ammunition just in case we're running into Advent and a few robots, but other than that I was uh, just trying my best to deal with the Losts. And Hogbite will be instrumental in that one. And yes, I do understand. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. No, no, no. We're not quite there yet. Let's try that again. Um, we are, instead of doing that, picking up the ultrasonic lure. Thank you. That's what I was uh, thinking. Um... Uh, could be the Viper King in there. So we still need the ultrasonic lure, but the right person to carry it will be Bastard. And we're doing exactly that. Okay, back to the drawing board. Because if they are lost and we have the ultrasonic lure, that also means someone, such as maybe the Hunter, will have a bad time. Let's go, boys. Okay. Menace one five, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Entering squad concealment. Uh, it feels like I've been uh, misled. So we're actually looking for a VIP extraction. Oh, okay. Completely misread that. Well. Not the best team for a VIP extraction, but I guess we don't have the luxury of complaining now. Got some hostiles grouped over here. We're still going to be okay, I hope at least. Desert moves up, sonar. Moves up there. Sane all the way to here. And Quake moves to there. Advanced Striker. Hmm. And we got a couple of shield bearers as well. Eleven turns. I mean, could go in like that. This would trigger a second Overwatch, uh, second Blade Storm. I think that's even the better uh, approach. Yeah, let's go. I see. He has close quarter, close quarter uh, shoot uh, shooting. So I gotta be careful with that advent striker. Good, well, we are ready. Time for run and gun. That will flank. It 
It's nice to have an ultrasonic lure though. That's actually quite good. Finally, I don't. Uh, finally, I don't need to wonder what would happen if uh, all the loss would appear all of a sudden, because that's already answered. I would have a lure. Jokes aside, the problem is the losts are likely not going to show up. Orders confirmed. On the move. Hmm. I mean, look. We got that striker as an option. Let's just open the bar here. Priest uh, should get killed, but will allow us to not have stupid um, sus uh, not sustenance. What's it called? Stasis. Unfortunately, sustenance triggered. Keep going. Good. Sane Overwatch is here. Bastard moves up. I wish we could come for the call back there. Fortunately, can't, but there is a decent chance for crit. I think the striker is the stronger one stronger problem might as well just take him out um, shield maybe a grenade that doesn't deal damage fire wouldn't uh, turn against us as well and the assault will likely die priest is down Ogbite was in the open, so you decide to not go there because you knew he had um, he had uh, Perry going. Good, we're in round one, and I can with confidence say this is already looking interesting. Moves to here. Defense, and somehow he is difficult to hit. I'll figure that out. I want to keep the option for a Comet Protocol. Good, lots of shredding. Sniper moves forward, mainly because we don't have much else to do. And uh, we can't uh, shoot and move with him. Yep, good hit.
You know, let's take that one. And a bit lightning hands. Into that one. Which hopefully is not pulling another pack. But sets us up nicely. Yeah, I think that was a good turn. DM moves up. Overwatch. And parry. So I am quite sure this will trigger another pack. Okay, overall, really nasty pack. Uh, we cannot just shoot, right? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, marksman to use the sniper rifle. Okay. Good hit, I like it. So we moved very far ahead. Which on one end is an advantage and on another one is a disadvantage. It is advantageous because uh, the enemies won't be able to follow up as, as well as they always could because they just don't have a lot of targets available on our side. Maximilian Richter. Um. Not sure if we want to use uh, the mine yet, but this here is a guaranteed good idea. Taking both of the mutants out for now is a fantastic idea. Yeah, don't want to stay in the open. So next best thing that we can do is half cover here into the heavy lancer. It's even a hit, but unfortunately not good enough. Careful not to pull another pack. Uh, I think we have done that. Might as well get that guy. Hair trigger. Um, yeah. That car explosion might kill the VIP.
only one way of solving that, which is moving in. We have the VIP and I'm moving to safety. Cha da Well now we do have a problem. But we only have a problem for a short period of time because Kshuvu says thanks for the rescue, see you later, bitches. And goes out. Just like that. Linding protocol. Big fat blinding protocol. <laughs> okay, good luck. That, on the other hand, I don't appreciate. Reinforcements? Okay, we should position Hawkbite in the middle here. That hopefully will deal with the reinforcements. This here would at least take away the overwatch. It's not bad, it's decent. And I somehow need to deal with the armor. Unfortunately, we have no one who can shred. And by that, I don't mean that we have uh, no lead guitar player. Have no one with a shredding ability. Moving out. All right, sonar moves up. Ship error would be another good option, but not yet. Let's just take the other enemies off the battlefield. Placing the mine, just in case someone moves up. Good hit, and a crit, which I think is fine. Let's try to get this guy down. Oh yeah, that was good. Well, that wouldn't be bad, would it? But killing the mutant wouldn't be bad either. Unfortunately, we can't charge Finally. too close. Hard target, minimal damage. That's a good position, I like it. High ground. It's unfortunately just half cover, but it's a really decent position. But I uh, was not rewarded for it.
Ignore the purifier at the moment. Good, and the reason why I was uh, want to stay here is that'll give us blade storm attacks. And maybe the mutant is even coming in for another melee smackdown. Oh, beautiful. I think that's four attacks. Close up of the crutch. The game is trying to hint something at me. I'm just not getting that sort of humor. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Stun Lancer dies on the spot. Heavy Lancer. Oh, we. I think that was the best uh, landing zone blade storm that I've ever seen. Quintuplet. That's rich. That is very rich. All right, Perry. Knowing how to use the Templar, 101. He doesn't even know that we're immune. Okay, I want to get the priest. Unfortunately, he dodged this shot. We're carefully repositioning out of line of sight. Sona moves up. We still have a really full field. Both of these guys are dangerous. Let me just figure something out. Yeah, we can't get Reaper again. Not yet. Damn it. Let's go with the purifier. Let's miss, unfortunately. Shadow fall, hundred percent hit. Uh, gets him into sustenance at least. Not great, but we're at least through it. April calling ourselves here. Not good. Which would which brings us to these clowns here. Stun Lancer down. No, no. This here is potentially even better. Uh, could kill the Purifier with a Blade Storm attack. And then it's just the mutant four six 
we soft the purifier up we're definitely killing this guy the mech and this guy okay it's a bit of a weird choice but this position here actually is a premium position and we're parrying so unless we're being stasis which i think isn't the case these two are at least dead the mutant is always keeping his distance which is funny if you think about it hmm okay well we're immune to the purifier so that's not a problem that is a problem though but luckily we're in reflect mode <sighs> Stupid. Three burning, ouch. Good, moves to here. Get rid gets rid of him. Perry's right there. Moving up. 100% kill thanks to the stock. Not taking any chances here. Sona hunkers down. Shield bearer needs to be softened up. Good, he's ready to be killed. DM moves up. Purifier is killed. The entirety of this place is leveled. We have literally almost killed everything. Good, quick moves up. Five turns and we slowly need to get to the exit. Which means this year needs to end very, very soon. Can't hit him. Well, can theoretically, but we all know what that would mean. Be wary of my 
There you go, take that. You green piece of dump. I can hack a non-existing truck. For a little bit more alien alloys. Yeah, I guess, thank you. Serves you right, mutant scum. You'll be fine. Okay, all things considered, this mission actually went quite well. I mean, yes, to a part also because Hawkbite was just standing in the middle of the enemies like an absolute madman. But I would say overall, everybody has carried the weight this time. This is the shot we've been waiting for. Take that thing down before it has a chance to run. We've got a chance to take this thing down once and for all. Bad idea. Let's get it done. Lots of things are not going good here. Movement will trigger his reaction. All right, Overwatch here. Overwatch here. Quake moves up. It's not good. Ready to okay, moves up. Everybody just goes out for now. See you later, Viper King. Ooh, closer than expected. Oh boy. I was already debriefing and thinking, you know what, that went better than expected. No! With the Viper King it would be the exact opposite. Viper King on a VIP mission is incredibly difficult. <laughs> difficult. Okay, so Sane. I think we wanted, uh, he was more uh, of a combat medic. I like that combat conditioning. Reaction shot for two targets, that's good.
Missed arc throw shots will still disorient the target. Hmm. I think a sentinel build is could could work well. The repositioning isn't bad either. Yeah, we're just trying a different build here. Uh, most Kremlin protocols and sniper rifles may now be used at squad size ranges. I like that. So we could make him a sniper. But the overload protocol isn't bad either. Now, I think we're going to go with that. It's actually quite good. Plus 200% damage and extra base damage. Now we're going to go with the sniper rifle build. Okay, uh, we got another engineer, I think. We are okay on engineers. Seven is a really good number. Good, more intel over there, theoretically. But we just wanted to continue making contact. We also got intel, which means we could theoretically buy something. Avenger we can't scan time. until the end of the month anyway, so... Might just take the option to buy. Superior auto loader. And superior hair trigger. It's well worth it. We need the weapon upgrades. 50 more intel to spend on uh, the next facility lead in four days. Some of our people are a little worse for wear after that last covert. Okay, very good. That's actually helpful. Mental fortitude. That is great. All of the negative abilities only last one turn. That is fantastic. One of the best abilities. Finally, things are going more our way than before. Uh, do we want to do that? Uh, can't feel the Templar to negate the ambush. We could get a promotion for a high-ranking soldier here. Lyrical could actually become colonel off of that. Thirteen days. Let's get uh, Dilly G onto all of those missions. And we got a promotion here, which is good. Um, plus, I mean, yeah, the ambush really doesn't matter, but that promotion will uh, get us to major rank on our sniper, which is good. And we have reduced the duration to 13 instead of 14 days. Which is even better. Not bad. Research is delayed for seven days. Well, tell you what. We need to work to prevent these attacks before they catch up with us. Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. 
Next facility Lee takes seven days as well. You know what? F it. We're just Please. continuing because we do have currently a facility available, so things are actually not too bad. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. You have made considerable progress over the past month, Commander. I Good. So that is fine. We increased training is not so great. Uh, that'll give him yet more strength. Ambush, eh, it's okay. This here is bad. We need to get barrier off. Oh, this is really bad. Mental fortitude. Huh? Eh? It's okay. I guess it's okay. My followers will obey. Fantastic Frodo with life fire training is another sergeant. There we go. Got a marine here. And we sure can use some marines. Promotion into. And you thought I talk too much, Commander. How about I like covering fire a lot. And we need shredding. That's a ma mandatory skill for this uh, playthrough. So let's take a look. Got an assault. Uh, two assaults are okay. Fiat medic, three. That's fine. Marines, three, that's fine. Marksmen, we're definitely lacking marksmen, so the next one will be a sniper. Zapper, three, that's fine. And tech specialist, unfortunately only two, but no, we're starting with uh, marksmen and then another tech specialist. And I think we're taking just uh, the first one. Sam Walker is going to be a sniper. Battlefield medicine, that's a great uh, new invention. I wanted bold caster anyway, so that will be the next big invention. And that is good because now we got sued up. All armor and vest projects are completed instantly. And that's a good one. Negative traits removed plus we got the next bond. We're upgrading all of our bonds. Fantastic, that's good. Um, do we have a negative trait? No, no one has one. We're missing breakthroughs, conventional weapon breakthrough and the like. That is becoming more and more of a problem. I'm still rocking the f uh, normal base damage. The only thing that we've upgraded is the weapon. Yeah, we're, we're going to give you the bond improvement. Uh, don't pressure it too much um, oh yeah we wanted to take a look at proving ground items choose projects here I mean advanced explosives definitely would be a good option but experimental armor is the real deal hazmat vest mmm so good. Stasis vest, also good. Plated vest. And I think we can go one more. Another hazmat vest. That's good. The hazmat vests in particular are very good against uh, environmental effects. Plated vest will increase our uh, chance of uh, 
uh, just generally withstanding punishment. And the stasis vest isn't bad either. Uh, that would be one that Hogbite, for instance, could take in order to also get some healing into his kit. Cool. Substantial upgrades, I like that. Um, we could go to New Australia. Integrated Warfare is PCS upgrades. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, let's first get the supply uh, scan and then we're slowly but surely making our way to Australia. One. Okay, well. Two. And three. I forgot to continue to scan up here. Uh, so our covert action is unfortunately gone. Need to put another uh, tower down in order to get down here. We unfortunately lost that uh, region and with it we lost the supplies. Uh. Get a superior scope. Speed isn't bad, but maybe not worth 50. Um, um, I think we can sell a couple more of these corpses. Installing a radio relay and then I'll just get the other intel if this is not enough. I like the upgrades, kind of the second upgrades, uh, CQB training part two will essentially mean every uh, every assault is treated with a passive ability as if they would be, uh, as if they would be level five. Grenade heavy weapon. I think we're going for advanced explosives. I'll send word when the project is complete. And we currently don't need anyone here. The emphasis is on currently, so a little bit of an optimization. Okay. Next level 2 bond is done, perfect, which brings us to yet the next level 2 bond. And we're almost done with that. Research went through. Fusion blade, ripjack and axe. Unfortunately none of that is, op uh, is an option for us. Yeah, it's okay, but not worth 10 days. Um, I mean, Chrysalid Rippers, I suppose we could try them. But before we do that, let's just go for the facility lead. I'll play it safe. I don't want uh, the Avatar project to take the better of us. Resistance network. I think that's immediate contact. <laughs> Ooh, strong one. Very strong one. Good. So what else do we have? 
Breakthrough for vector rifles. We are not using a hell lot of vector rifles um, for an additional upgrade slot. Sounds very mad to me. Free promotion sounds good. Alien loot isn't bad either. Scientists not really needed a free promotion here. I think that's the mission that we're going to go for. This isn't bad either. But I think overall this year sounds too good to pass. Uh, we could get someone to colonel rank. Are we really negating the ambush? Well, am I just accepting it? Those two could easily go, uh, go through an ambush. Not a problem. Soldier wounding. Yeah, as long as they aren't captured, I'm actually okay. And Lyrical would become the first colonel of this campaign, unless Hogbite in the next missions decides to complete the uh, kill everyone and therefore surpass her. It unfortunately means though that some of our top staff is currently unavailable at the end of the world because I think that the second team did relatively well. But yeah, the idea here would be just like before that we would get a prime team that we're also nicely equipping and then essentially start building up a deeper roster because uh, so far we've been relatively lucky with not getting completely killed but that might change very soon okay we got ourselves another sniper sergeant that's good next up it's time for a tech specialist Sam Sanabs Walker is reporting for duty. And in terms of promotion, I wanted one of the scouts, but I'm not sure if we're not just going to go with the normal, with a normal approach, which is lightweight optics. And then 50% cover negation is just very strong. And also makes uh, the snipers a little bit more predictable. I can uh, start kind of doing more fun builds when we do have a deeper roster for now. I need to do power picks that I think will work. Current scan will take seven. Where we were almost done. Well, I tell you what. I will reclaim you and all that you have taken from the I want to build one over here. That would even be better than this one here. Can I stop building that radio relay and instead build a new one? Unfortunately not. Okay, here we go again. Another engineer. This could be bad. Uh, but we need to get that one down. Operation Doom Fall. Not really good. I don't like Operation Doom Fall. Sounds like a trap to me, but we're going to figure that out the next time. 
for now i thank you for watching and uh, try to hit that like button and don't fall uh, in between thank you and have a good one see you in two days guys bye bye